And we're live, hey everyone. I'm Marco, I'm one of the co-mentors here at the Fireworks Project, and I'm running you guys through our intro session tonight. So what do we have in store? First of all, let's do a little overview of what I want to cover. First, I want to go through our curriculum and talk a little bit how we customize our curriculum so it works for our job seekers, our career switchers, and our entrepreneurs alike. And then I want to talk a little bit about the support system as well, how do one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions work, what about our Q&A forum, and what about our Agile team meetings, as well as our group, uh, weekly office hours, our group meetings. And then I want to answer a question that I get a lot, which is, what can I actually do? What can I really build at the end of the 13-week, 15-week long program with the Firehouse Project? All right, let's jump straight in. Let's talk about the core curriculum and what we have there. The full program is 15 weeks. The first two weeks, we're going to dedicate to going through an introduction course with you. And a lot of people who are watching this right now, I know you guys are already working on the Firehouse intro course. If you haven't, I highly suggest go to the firehouseproject.com, look at the top left, apply, click on the two weeks free, and fill out the application. We actually look at every single application so we can get you started, work through the coding fundamentals, build a uh, homepage, work on some Ruby code, submit some code, get it reviewed. A lot of people are watching right now doing this already. So after these two weeks, we're going to look at all your code. We're going to give you a thumbs up and accept you in the full program. In the full program, we're building several web applications. The first application that we're building is a pretty simple one. It takes a quote from a user, stores in a database, and displays it randomly on the home page. It's a pretty simple application to build, but it gives you a 360-degree view over all the tools that you're going to use. That means Ruby, Rails, the Rails framework, um, the Postgres database, how to use Git for version control, GitHub to back up the code and share with other people, and, and how to use Heroku as your server, and several other things, HTML, CSS. It gives you really a good overview. And next, we're going to um, crank up the learning curve and build a, a Yellow clone. That's a fully functional web application that we're pushing out there and has really important features. And I think the most important one is the integration with the Google Map API. So that means that we're writing the Ruby code to take an address that a user puts in a form, translating that into longitude and latitude coordinates, and we're passing those coordinates back into the Google API so we get a pin on the map. Obviously, we need more than that, right? We need user authentication so users can log in, log out, create user accounts. We also need comments and we need star ratings. And also, a really cool feature that I like a lot is sending automated emails based on somebody leaving a comment or rating on certain places in the application. And that's a really cool feature, like me getting an email, hey, somebody on your pizza place, somebody else just left a comment, you may want to check out how with them and check, check out that comment, and then that drives users back to the application. Next, we're doing test-driven development. For all of you guys who don't know what test-driven development is, that is basically taking, um, writing automated software tests to making sure that all of our features work in any, any given moment. It's really important. It's the bread and butter of any web developers. It's an industry standard. You really need to know how that works. And that's why we're teaching you that really early in week three or four already in the program. What we're doing there is writing these tests ahead of time before we build the features. It's kind of like flipping the, uh, the, the usual flow, the usual workflow on its head. And that's what happens in the real world all the time. So the earlier you learn that, the better. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur, it's a job seeker, you need to know how to do that. Next up, we build a, a last web application before we split the program up, and that's a, um, a Udemy Skillshare. It's a two-sided marketplace where we have instructors on one side and we have uh, students on the other side. And then students can come and buy courses, video learning courses that the instructors built. And when I say buy, that means purchase. That means we can actually um, accept credit card and debit card payments on our application, and we do that by integrating with the Stripe API so we can accept those payments. And the other thing that we're learning there is the deep database relationships and the structures of the advanced web application so we can figure out who has access to which course. There's multiple developers and multiple instructors. There's multiple students on the platform. We need to figure out how do they connect and how do they, um, who can watch what, and who can only see a preview, depending on how the money flowed over the, the platform. Obviously, there's user authentication, also integrate with JavaScript at, at that point and teach you how to get JavaScript inside of a Rails web application. So we have, a, we have a solid introduction on that, and then we actually apply our skills to improve the user experience by totally redesigning the user interface. So JavaScript is involved in that, and that makes the user interface a lot better. What we're building 
It's a drag and drop interface for our instructors to reorganize their courses and the lesson plans a lot simpler. And that's something that's really uh, it's a neat feature and it really improves the user interface. Now, these are the four web applications that you're building. In parallel to that, we run all of our students through algorithmic and coding challenges that will really teach you how to write good Ruby codes. So you're ready to build advanced web applications in the last four weeks. Now, last four weeks, what do we do? We split up the programming. One corner, we have the, um, the career seekers, the career switchers. And in the other corner, we have the um, entrepreneurs. Let's talk first a bit about the career switchers. For you guys, what we do is we put you on a group project to build a web application together as a team. And why are we doing this? It's because in the real world, the best um, web applications are built by amazing teams. And you guys knowing how to be part of an amazing team will give you a huge competitive advantage over anyone else. So knowing how to do that is really key. So what are we building there? We're building a chess game inside a web application. And we choose a chess game because it's really complex to build, right? Just thinking through how do we move all these pieces across the field, the board? How do we determine a casting move? Checkmate, right? These algorithms we need to pack into Rails application, and that's what makes that application really powerful, really complex to build. And on top of that, we build that as a team, so we get the entire workflow down um, for the, that's happening in the real world every single day. And that's really what sets you apart: building something complex, but then also building it in a way just like it's done in a real world. That's really where the real world coding comes in. Now, for the enterprise on the other side, what we do with you guys in the last four weeks is. We Focus on your own capstone project, building and launching your own MVP web application idea. What we do there is we wireframe every single screen out from your application, and then we take in those screens and break them down into individual coding steps and start coding and shipping one feature after another, just like we would do in the real world with a product. But this time, it's your idea, and we push that live to the internet so you have that at the end when you graduate. That's the whole program, 15 week long. Again, if you haven't applied, go and right now to firesproject.com and hit the two weeks free and start working on coding tonight. Now, let's talk about the support system, right? There's multiple pieces that we have as well. So the first thing I usually want to talk about is a Q&A forum. People usually tell me, come on, mentorship sessions, that's where it's at. But it is what the Q&A forums enable us to do, right? Q&A forums, pretty simple. Thursday night, you're coding, you run into an error message. Take a screenshot, paste it in the forum. Within an hour or two, you get help, and we help you get out of stuff, right? We help you understand what's wrong, so you can keep focusing on learning more and, and learning the smart way. Now, that enables us doing mentorship sessions. When you meet with your code mentor on a one-on-one -on -one session, enables us enables you to be error-free and focus on what really matters. Like right? it could be writing additional tests, building additional feature, understanding and reworking an algorithm, pair programming something important. So the mentorship sessions don't become coding questions, and we answer them. It's a great place to meet everyone. is a chat channel um, where all of us work together and, and meet up for that program. Cool. That's the support system. If you have a group project in the last four weeks, what we also do is give you access to agile weekly team meetings where the groups come together, make sure everything is on plan, and every feature gets built according to what was agreed upon, who builds what. And that's exactly how it's done in the real world as well. Um, that's the support system. And now I always want to answer the question, what are, what are you able to um, build at the end? What can you really do once you graduate besides launching on that idea, besides actually um, finding a job, landing a job? I think what you can really do is you're able to create. You go, have an idea, you go out there, you spend a weekend, you spend the week, and you build that idea, and you ship it live on the internet. And I think that is what you can really do, and that's something that is really powerful, and it's a skill that you should absolutely have um, to move forward in your career. Now, let's do a few questions. Okay, I have a few here. What's a weekly time commitment? That's a question that I get asked a lot. Weekly time commitment is 20 hours per week. You can do less if you want. You might not be able to complete everything, but that's a good time. 
good um, commitment per week that we see. If you want to do more, that's perfect with plenty of people um, that do 40 plus hours a week easily um, going through our curriculum. And we have plenty of materials for them too, but we design it for about 20 hours a week. You can scale it back, you can scale it up. Um, next question is, what's the application process? I already mentioned that. Go through, go to um, firesproject.com, go through the, the intro course, solve all the coding challenges, the challenge sections, solve these script check, write the code, submit it, get your review, get your thumbs up. Once you solved all of them, we we'll happily accept you into the full program. Um, what are some of your graduates doing right now? I think that's a great question. Um, I think we have graduates all over the world right now. And there's people like in Germany, they work with big companies like Anonym, um, building as uh, Rails engineers, building um, energy monitoring software systems where people join startups um, out in LA. Um, they do a lot of text messaging and messaging apps. That's, that's what one of our students out in LA built. Another student, Erin, she um, joined Artsy. Artsy is a company that maps the genome of music, just like Pandora maps the genome of, um, of uh, music. And Artsy, sorry, maps the genome of art. And Pandora does it for music. So she works there on a technical team. Um, and she has a background in um, EA, actually, in art history. So that's a perfect match for her. She loves it there. Um, other students go on building their own companies. Um, so it's a wide variety. Go to thefiresproject.com slash alumni. Check out our alumni. There's tons of resources out there, tons of reviews, tons of blog posts about the experience. You can really learn and dive deep and see what is it like to be part of the Firebase community. All right, guys. If there's no more questions, then let me double check if we have another one. Um, I don't um, think so. Okay, I think we're all good. That was super fun, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me, reach out to me. Happy to help you guys. And um, stay awesome. Take it easy. Bye.